Hi guys, welcome back to another, I guess, episode now of Draw With Me because it seems like I'm continuing to do this. Um, so today I am actually going to recreate a, a piece that I did four years ago? Wait, let me check here. <laughs> four years ago. Um, and I created it with watercolor in my sketchbook and I have it here which is really really fun. And I remember doing this, I was just doodling her and then in the end it kind of created this whole scene with the big bad beast and the red bird and the human girl and it was all quite random, it was never really planned, it was all just doodled and I really really like how it turned out and I still really really like it but I think what I missed was that whole planning of the illustration and putting things in the right place and composition and all that so today I'm pretty much gonna reconstruct this piece and make it into something more illustrative um, I already love it but I am ready to take on the challenge and do it again so this is the drawing and as you can see the paper is super super thin and I think you saw this in my uh, sketchbook tour, pretty sure I went through this. And it's another one of these very very cheap Tiger sketchbooks and you can see it's pretty beat up but it is from Tiger. And I seem to really enjoy these really cheap sketchbooks because I actually felt this more than I did any other sketchbooks that I've ever bought. <laughs> And um, yeah, I still really like this piece and I'm going to bring my new tiger sketchbook into this picture and we'll be sketching and see what we can do with this drawing. I can't find my really cheap pencil anywhere so I'm just have to, to use this pencil and hopefully it works how I want it to work. But yeah, let's plan out my illustration. It's gonna be an A5 size as usual. <laughs> That's usually what I like to draw with. And I know I actually tried to redraw this drawing at one point before last year in February, and I ended up not doing it because it was digital and it just frustrated me and I didn't like it. Um, I'll show it here. I probably showed it in my vlogs as well, uh, so you will remember that. Uh, but. Yeah, I didn't like it. Um, I, I want to do it in watercolor again. <laughs> so I, I want to have some more shape to it. It's very clear to me that I was just sketching and I didn't wasn't really thinking about the composition or anything. So um, yeah, I guess I do want. So if you have the rule of thirds, is that what it's called? It's called something at least. So something here or something here. But I will have the bird here. Its face here. She will be in the middle, which is not very nice, but it would work in this. This kind of want him to be like a bigger mound of. So it will pretty much be the same illustration, but just framed better. And I think that's that's an okay way to redraw your art, really. If you didn't like the composition, do it again. I do want her to be in the same pose because I really like that. I like this angular shape that this is getting as well. And you will have this one as well, so... This is probably where... The light is going to be from her and out. And I love this illustration from... Wait, this Norwegian fairy tale illustration. Let me find it. This is... I want to go for something like this. Um, it is like a childhood... Like, memory for me, this illustration. I just remember it really, really well. Um, of course, mine's not going to be <laughs> white, but it, it's still going to have that effect. Well, inspired by this one, definitely. I don't know if I'll find that many references. Maybe I will, but I really like this. This is not enough sketches. I need to find more references. I need to do more sketches. I know, I, 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 I said, last time I said this, I you guys misunderstood me. It wasn't like I didn't like, well, I wasn't supposed to like my art, but I am supposed to do more sketches before I decide that I like it. 
you know? I need to eliminate all other options <laughs> for... Uh, make it a bit more stylized, I think. It's actually this pose that um, inspired me to do the rest of the drawing, because I sketched this without a reference. I'm not doing it very well right now. I just, this is, this is not <laughs> right. Hmm. So this is the one I never finished. It's really bright on camera, but... Right, let me. I might actually replicate this a little bit. This is actually not too bad. Now that I see it later, and then you have the the fox and the that guy there. I just never finished it, I guess. But I do like how she looks, so I might just follow follow that for the new one. <laughs> All right, so I've done my light sketch. You can barely see it. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you can see more. But um, it took me a little while to get all everything kind of set up. I kind of really just stuck to what I did on the digital version for her uh, because it was a really it's a really hard pose. It's not very easy, and I hid the the wolf a little bit more. Um, so it's actually a mix of the digital redraw that I did and the original. And I'm I'm really really curious to see how this kind of turns out in the end. I do really want to use dip pen though, uh, and I'm kind of afraid that the nib kind of got ruined last video. We'll have to see if I can find it. Okay, so I I don't have the nib all the way into the holder, but it seems to be working. So we'll <laughs> just go for it. So I think <laughs> I'm really disappointed in myself, actually. Because the face didn't work out. Um, so I think I'm going to try and transfer this over to a new piece of paper. By just using my iPad <laughs> in the back. And I'll see how that works. All right, that was really annoying. I did not actually want to uh, have to redraw it, but actually I have a few things that I changed or like just slightly altered. And I think I am going to go in and do it with pencil, not ink, because the ink was so unpredictable and doing like tiny details like this was like, nah man, I ain't gonna work. I guess I could use my ballpoint pen, but I think I'd rather use my uh, pencil and do kind of what I did with the Snowcat prints at some point, but I wish I had my really cheap one somewhere and I can't find it. Ah, I found it! <laughs> it's not hard really. I'm gonna use a piece of paper just for my hand so that I can move around. I do want to start with her face still. It's the most critical point. just to get, I could not talk while I was doing it either.
Okay, so I haven't talked in a while and I know that. Um, it is because I did get quite down. Didn't, didn't like it, but now it's getting better. Um, kind of fixing it. <laughs> so I'm feeling better about it. I do believe that um, this is going to be a Christmas present, or not a Christmas present, actually a birthday present for my dad. And this video is not going to be up until after Christmas, but I'm filming it like the week before Christmas, so. As, so you guys know that <laughs> there is a time difference from when you're seeing this. I'm actually just doing what I feel like doing. don't really have... Usually I should have a better plan, but I just just don't want to right now. I think I'm just tired because it's it's just right before Christmas and I'm I'm ready to just not do anything for a while. Maybe I should have even had a break before this. Like not Stressing about making more videos before the break, but actually just having a, a Friday off, but at the same time it makes me nervous Because the the YouTube algorithm and all, all of that <laughs> I feel like this is not really my usual style I am not honestly liking it that much at the moment. I think it's because it's so different from my style and I'm thinking too much about how oh, people won't like it because it's too different. But I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> and hopefully I'll kind of I'll kind of turn out in some into something that I, I kinda like, hopefully. Sometimes it's not good to, not good to quit halfway. I think the fact that I'm, I'm thinking of this as a Christmas present also isn't helping me relax <laughs> It's making me um, more stressed because it needs to be good It's just it's just a week where I'm not as good as, um, as I'm not very good at drawing right now I feel like I think I need to uh, take a break, come back to this in a, after lunch because I'm, I'm not I'm not happy right now, <laughs> and I don't know why. Um, I can't see it if it's the drawing, or I can't identify it if it's just me. So I think I need to just. Not look at this for a little bit, I think. All right, <laughs> so I had my lunch and I feel a lot better about this now. And I think I'm just gonna go into watercolor and just finish it. And if it goes absolutely horrible, I can just redo it at some point, I don't know. But I have a feeling it, it will be fine. It's just me being salty about my art, I think. <clears throat> okay, so I don't know how this is gonna go, to be honest with you guys. As I am in a weird mood today, but we're gonna try. 
Alright. There's certain things I know what to do with, but I'm just gonna give everything a little bit of a shine, I guess. I think you can barely see that, but I can, so it's fine. I guess I don't really know where all the colors, what kind of colors I'm doing, but I think I'm kind of following the, the digital version that I have. Alright, I need to, to start <laughs> to, to build out the other colors somehow. I'm just gonna use this and I can use more color on top later, but... Oh, I forgot to scan it again. <laughs> oh well, I wasn't that. I just I just want to get this done. I don't think I will offer um color version. Well, oh, I think I need to tape down this a bit more. And from this point on, I, to no surprise, stopped talking. I was clearly in a very bad mood and I just had to finish the drawing and I actually ended up really loving it. It just took me about two and a half more hours to finish this piece. So this is uh, sped up 20 times and I've also cut out a few bits, which is just repetition, repetition, <laughs> repetition, but I left in the most interesting things. And I think I have started doing a new thing where I use watercolor and um, color pencils a little bit more detailed than I used to do. If you look back at my Nissa illustration cards, they're actually a lot simpler, they're not that much um, color pencil going on. But in this one and last week's video, I really go in with my color pencil and really add a lot of texture. And I think I'm really loving it. Um, it's a definitely a different style to what I usually do, but I'm probably gonna keep doing that. Um, to certain pieces that I feel needs to be more serious or need to have more texture. I quite I quite love it. Also, I just want to say that I hope you guys are not discouraged by me showing all of the negative sides of my art life right now. Um, it's just been really up and down, especially this week where I filmed all these videos and edited all of these videos. I've just been so stressed and it just got to me and I just had to live with it. And um, yeah, I think it's better to show you guys what happened rather than hiding it. And I'm no by no means being negative because I actually love, love the art that happened at the end of it, but it was a struggle. Let's just say it was a struggle. I'm sure some of you will say that you will like the uh, previous version of this art more or maybe the digital version that I didn't finish and that's completely fine because I, to me, those are three different styles and styles always change and some people might have a preference for the simpler style that was like the previous um, art that I did four years ago and some people might like the one that I did now or maybe even the digital and that's completely up to you. I actually would love to see you guys recreate my art. Um, I know this was me kind of recreating my old art but if you guys want to have a go and recreate this old piece of mine and, and tag me and show me on Instagram and Twitter or whatever you wherever you can show me, I would love to see that um, because it is a fun idea and it's just cool to see other people take on the challenge. It's kind of like the draw this in your style thing. Yeah, it's pretty much that challenge. <laughs> At this point in the video, there's not really much to say. I'm just going to keep rambling on for a little bit longer just to keep you guys entertained while I speed up this footage and show you guys what happened. And yeah, I, I guess I in the end managed to get that light that I wanted, I managed to get the texture I wanted. It all turned out really well and I'm very very excited to give this to my dad for his birthday, which is on the 27th. 
and I hope he will like it. I think he has a preference for stories and art with the Beauty and the Beast vibe. Um, not the Disney version, but the Beauty and the Beast is a term for certain storylines, which is pretty much the, uh, something ugly versus something childish or sweet. And Beauty and the Beast is, of course, that storyline. And then you have um, the Iron Giant. You have lots of other movies with the same thing <laughs> and I really love that storyline Great Lakes is also that storyline actually and I just really like it it's just something different than a love story or a journey story and it just shows something good in everything I guess So we are coming to the end of this video, I just want to say I hope you had a wonderful New Year's and that you are excited for the New Year and new like, opportunities and new plans. Maybe you're starting to plan more or doing like me, trying to schedule your life a little bit more. And I also hope that you managed to do everything you wanted to do in 2018 and if you didn't, that's completely fine, just do it this year. Um, it's a finish not perfect life so you just do it when you can. I was so happy that I actually managed to do Grey Legs this year and I'm planning well, at least two more books this year and it's gonna be a whole other adventure and I hope you guys are excited as I am. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this uh, redraw of my old art and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye!